Sup guys, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my AFK Devil to Geyser. Right, so this video is going to be in two parts because there is a lot of freeze traps underneath of the map for flingers and stuff, so it will be two parts for the video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So, first thing you're going to need is one, two, three tiles right here with the double reload effect duration freeze traps. Right? These are flinger spots or possible flinger spots. Sometimes the flinger sits here, sometimes it doesn't. Flingers don't. Okay. Now on to the actual amplifier, right? So the actual amplifier is going to be shaped something like this, right? This is going to be a full wall, full wall, full wall. These are going to be doors, right? And if you really wanted to, you could just do doors all the way around right here, just to box it up real nicely. Okay. And then you're going to have the same thing here, doors all the way around. And same thing here doors all the way around. For the next part you're gonna have one, two, three floors, right? And then this is where you're gonna start your amp design. So one, two, three, four. You're gonna put your pillars in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're gonna put ceilings all the way around, right? Now, you can put um, on these edges right here, like on the sides, you can put ceiling electric fields if you so choose to. They're not mandatory. But I would suggest putting any ears on this. You can use the uh, 144 ones, which is what I'm going to go grab because I'm out of the Did I not transfer them? Question mark? Oh, okay. I'm just blind. Alright. So you're gonna want all of these facing this direction. Two more here just to be safe. And then that should about wrap up those. Now, for the actual amp design, it needs to go up two more higher. So you can put a ceiling right here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that, like so. Three high. Okay. Now, the tunnel is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be one, two, three. Okay. And then you're going to have these guys blocking this right so the husks actually have to walk up right here and around and then if you wanted to you could even throw in a uh, wooden floor spike but that's not going to be necessary because of the part two right wrap this one around as well like so and then here what we're going to have is one two three 
And then going, this is going to go four high. Okay. Oops. One, two, three. Uh, these will be full walls. With one of these in the middle. And then one, two, three there. You could put ceilings as well if you wanted to, but it's not necessarily. And then wooden floor spikes and sound walls. Double reload because we want those husks out of there as fast as possible. Also, double reload sound walls here as well. And then these are going to be five times impact floor launchers, right? Like so. Now we can start the path, right? So the path is going to go out like this, one, two, it's going to come up, one, it's going to come all the way to here, alright, once you get to here, you're going to put a wall, and another wall, okay, and then on this side, you're going to have a stair, like this, Going down to here. All right, this is where the husks are gonna try to drop off at. Okay, they probably won't. They'll probably just walk the rest of the way. But if they do, that's there to stop them. One. You get from this tile. You're gonna go one, two, three. Okay. One more. Four. So that way you're almost above this, right? You could probably bring it back one and line it up. Yeah, I think that's what I did in my last, in my last one. But, okay. So now, once you have this, because the husks are going to come up to here, they're going to try to path down. This is going to knock them into here, and then this is going to knock them into the sequence, right? So the sequence is going to be one, two, three. And then there's going to be a wall here. And it'll be... And then if you want to be safe, you can do this. And you can box everything up. Oops. Just gonna edit this like this, and we're gonna come over to here. We're gonna make another one. All right. Now, once you're here, restart the sequence. So one, two. Put walls here. Walls up here. Ceiling here. And then this is going to come down to here. Right? Like so. And then this right here. <coughs> Ugh, bless me. Alright. Now, if the husks fall off on this side, it doesn't really matter, because they're just going to walk around back into Devil. Um, but yeah, so then you're going to bring them here. And then this is going to knock them onto these two tiles, right? And then once they get onto... Actually, we might want to... We might want to push them one more. Right, so we'll push them one more. We'll go... Up one more, like so, and then this is where it be this will be where they ultimately land. Um, so once they get to here, uh, 
they are going to get knocked down there. So we will do this. That way they fall into the bottom intentionally. Right? If you wanted to, you could even put a ceiling right here as well. But that is where they will get sent to. And then knock down into the bottom where they will then walk to the geyser. Right? They'll get pushed here. Boom. Okay. So, for this one, right? This one's pretty simple. Tar pit. And a zero times impact double reload. You could even do a one times impact double reloader just for those pesky riot huskies. And then we are going to have a wall light on this wall. And a... Do I have a gold increase? We could just use a 144 increase there because this is going to be a healing sound wall. So we want our double reload healing sound wall right here. Okay. And then this is going to be a tarpet. And then this is going to be a tarpet. And this is going to be a tarpet. And this is going to be a tarpet. And then once you have all those tar pits in, this wall right here is going to be a healing sound wall, double reload. This right here is going to be a four times impact reload dura wall launcher. Actually, I'm just kidding. It's going to be a four times impact reload heal wall launcher, right? And then you are going to have a increase health wall spike on the back side of this. Okay. Now, right here, this is going to be a three times impact wall launcher. A three times impact wall launcher and a three times impact wall launcher. Okay. Now, you're going to have right here a healing sound wall. Another healing sound wall. And then that should be all of that. Oh yeah. Healing sound wall here, all the way through. Actually, this one won't matter because there's already one right there. All right. Healing sound wall and healing sound wall. Healing sound wall, no healing sound wall because there's already one. And then next we will need the three times impact double reload four launchers. As you can guess, they go right there on each of the open slots that's left on the ground. Okay, so what's going to happen? Us are going to get knocked to here. They're going to get launched up and over, and then they're going to get knocked to there. Then they're going to get launched up and over, and then they're going to get knocked to here. And then they're going to get launched up and over, and then they're going to get launched down into the bottom. And have to walk to the guys. Um, anything else I need for part one? I wonder. Ooh, these. So here, you will need just one. They'll drop down. You will need a increase building health wall spike here. And then we're gonna jump to this one over here. Once again. Come down to there. That way they can just boop. 
Actually, you can probably even do it there. Hold up. Yeah, you can do it there. They'll, they'll drop down from there. And then another increase health. Then this one will come straight out to there. And this will be another increase health wall spike. And then one more increase health wall spike for good measure. Alright. Uh over here you will need something. So you will need a block for the propanes, otherwise they will just fucking start trying to bang on ridge to blow themselves up because they're stupid. Um, so what we're actually going to use is we're going to use a little block off right here. And then we're going to make a little pathway for them. So we're going to have them walk up there and then we'll bring them this way around. Boom, boom. Like so. And then it's just going to be 2x, 2x tar pit with zero impact wall launchers. Because the only thing that's going to be walking on this path is propanes. And they don't have a very high impact. As for everything that I can place above ground regarding Devil, uh, I'm going to do one last sweep. That appears to be it for part one. If I have any more updates for the above ground section, I will post them in the next video. Have fun building.